All right, in order to use Fluberoo to self-grade quizzes for you, you first need to make a quiz. The best way to do that is to use Google Forms. So from your landing page in Google Docs, you just create a new form. This will just pull you into just your basic form, and we'll get just a basic editor here. So from here, I can apply a theme and add questions. I can add more question items. The one thing I really recommend you do is automatically check this box right here to automatically collect their Jefferson County Public Schools username. That's essentially going to collect the student's email account that's associated with their Google Apps account. And we want that if you do want scores emailed out automatically. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment here and create a short quiz. And then I'll show you how we use Fluberoo to auto grade that. Okay, so I've created a really simple two question quiz. I did use multiple choice questions. I have two right here, but you can really do any kind of question you want. You could do fill in the blank. Just know that if Fluberoo auto grades, the student answer has to match exactly what you put in. So if they misspell something, if they're to type a word and they misspell it, then they will miss it on the quiz. Now, you can go into Fluberoo and adjust their score, but you have to do that manually. So multiple choice is obviously the easiest way to go, but if you're doing something like a spelling test where you do want spelling to count, um, you can certainly do fill in the blank. Fluberoo is not case sensitive, so it won't care if they forget to capitalize something, but it does definitely need to be an exact match in terms of spelling. I included some things at the top, first name, last name, even though it's automatically collecting their username, I recommend you still put this in and block just anything you might want to sort by later when you're um, working with your spreadsheet. So the next thing to do is to go into the form and essentially create the answer key. So down at the bottom is a link that says you can view your form here. I'm going to click that link. It's going to save my progress. It's going to take me to my form. So this is what it looks like to students. And I'm going to just create the answer key. I'm just going to write teacher, teacher. I don't need to care about which block. And I'm going to put in the correct answers and click submit. All right, so now let's say I've sent out the quiz and my students have taken it. I'm going to go in and auto grade it. When I go back to my Google Documents, the form shows up as, as a spreadsheet in my landing page. I'm just going to click on the title of the form I created. It will now convert all my student responses into a spreadsheet, which is a nice, much nicer, easier view um, for grading especially. But since Fluberoo is going to do all of the work, all we have to do is install that script and we're ready to go. So Fluberoo is a script, which is kind of like a little application that runs inside this application. But inserting it is as easy as pretty much inserting a picture. So I'm going to do insert, scroll down to the very bottom, script. I come to the script gallery. I can just type in Fluberoo here. Or I could go to the education link on the right and scroll through a list. And Fluberoo will be listed alphabetically. There it is. This is what I want. So I'm going to click install. And in a second here, I'm going to get kind of a warning message that's, you know, are you sure you really want to install this? Does it have its authentication? This is that message. And so I'm going to click Authorize. It's going to be installed. And then I get a message that says you can now run this script. So I'm going to close this here. Now there's a new feature on my spreadsheet called Fluberoo. All I need to do is click Grade Assignment and follow basically two steps. So Fluberoo is preparing to grade. Step one is going to ask me which fields it wants me to grade. So the first one, username that was automatically collected, it already kind of knows this isn't a question. It just identifies the student. So I'm going to keep that there. Um, one point for these two questions, I could, I'm going to keep that the same. And then first name and last name are definitely identification ones. It thinks maybe that where I ask students to put their block or class period should be worth a point. Really, that's just something that helps me identify students. So I'm going to change that and click continue and move on to step two. Step two is where Fluberoo says, okay, well, which one of these do you want me to use as the answer key to compare the others? And that's the one I submitted as teacher, teacher. So my answers need to be the ones to use to compare all the others for grading. So I click continue. Fluberoo is going to run through its grading system. And then it gives me a message that says that my assignment has been graded and it's ready to view. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, you can also see that there's now a new tab or new spreadsheet here. So Fluberoo says grading complete, which is good. Down here, I see two tabs now. One says student submissions and one says grades. Okay. So I'm going to close that, but I can go back here. Student submissions was, is the raw data that I saw in my other one. And then Fluberoo created kind of a new little tab in my spreadsheet called grades. 
And so what Fluberu has done for me is it's graded all of these questions and gave, given me their total score. So you can see the, the scores the students got anywhere from zero, right, to all of them, right? It also, for me as a teacher, puts uh, questions in orange that, um, that my class tends to struggle with. And I think it's less than 60%. If 60% um, of the class or more is not getting it right, it's going to put the question in orange. So you can see which types of questions your class is really struggling with. So this is handy. It's got it all organized here. I can, from here, I can sort any of these columns by first name, last name, if I want to transfer grades someplace else. If I want to give my students their grades in a flash, I can go up to Flubaroo, and now that I've ran through the grading, all I need to do, I can regrade the assignment if I want to change some of the questions, or I can go to a view report, which will show me in graphic form what these, um, you know, this is especially helpful if you have a whole class worth of students and you can really see which questions they're struggling with. But this is what I love, Flubaroo, right here, second choice email grades and all it will ask now is which field do you want the grade sent to and so it says email address the question and I'm going to change username or if it's not username that's what I want it to be that's their email address for Jeffco schools I can include their answers in the email so they can see what they answered and what the correct answer was and I can include a message this is going to go out to everyone so it could be you know congratulations class on finishing the candy and soda quiz below is your grade and then you click continue and these will be sent out to your students so that's how you use Flubaroo the only disadvantage to Flubaroo, it's not really a disadvantage, is, is Flubaroo is dependent on each spreadsheet so if I go and make a new form and go into um, grade it, Flubaroo will not show up as a choice again I have to go back and go insert script and insert script on the worksheet that I want to auto grade so that's how easy Flubaroo is in just a few steps, you can have your quizzes auto-graded and results sent to students. You don't have to do any of those complicated spreadsheet formulas or write your own script. Just click Insert and let Flubaroo do all the work for you.